So who's heard of AliExpress? Until recently, I only knew it as the sponsored ad thing that would pop up on my Facebook feed and ask me if I wanted to buy shit like this. How does it know? Anyway, about a month ago, my wife told me in passing, oh, I've just spent 50 quid on AliExpress. Cool, I guess. I thought. Anyway, a couple of weeks passed and then one day there was a knock at the door. It was one of her parcels. And then the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. I mean, how much can one person get for 50 quid? It's like beyond. AliExpress is the Amazon of those weird shops that you see on the main strip in Tenerife. You know the ones, the ones that sell Ray-Ban sunglasses that are called Ben Ray's. <laughs> or Calvin Klein boxer shorts that are called Chanvian Leans. I picked up this pop vinyl from one of those shops a couple of years ago whilst on holiday. Why you ask? It's quite obviously fake. Well, how could I not? This is Wolverine from the Justice Siege League Age. How could I not? Now imagine this standard of product, but think of anything that you could possibly imagine. That is AliExpress. From socks to full gaming rigs, AliExpress can provide you with bootleg versions of just about anything that exists, so long as you're willing to take the risk. Now there's a litany of YouTubers that swear by the clothes on AliExpress, budget versions of branded products that aren't too far away from the real thing, but at a fraction of the price. So I wanted to take that concept and see how AliExpress fares on the gaming front. After all, we are a gaming channel. So five minutes of sifting through AliExpress and it's obvious just how much shit there is on here. And with everything being so cheap, it's really easy to just fill and fill your basket up with all sorts of garbage. And after about an hour on there, my basket was full of lights for my gaming room, gaming rugs, figurines, t-shirts, console mods, decals, everything, everything, everything. But cheap as it is, I'm not fucking made of money. So I decided to just choose one theme for this video and roll with that to try and curb my spending. After all, this video might completely fucking bomb and there's no guarantee that the tap that I buy from AliExpress is actually going to work. So if this video goes well, I might do some more of these videos. I was thinking originally that I was going to do like accessories for my gaming room. And you guys can always leave suggestions in the comments of anything that you'd want to see me grab. So the theme for today's video is bootleg Game Boy Advance games. And there may be a couple of colour games in there. I can't remember exactly what I bought. Because the thing about AliExpress is you have to wait like two weeks minimum for your shit to arrive. I think I waited about a month for this package to show up. So... Uh, I can't exactly remember what's in there, but it's Game Boy Advance games. Now that might seem like an oddly specific choice for this video, but for me it makes total sense because I love this thing. This is the Game Boy Advance SP and I still play this all the time. I think this console is probably the best handheld console that there is. Why is this the best handheld console? How can you not love that? It's like how a flip can, phone. How can you say that that's better than this? Well, it's not better. There's just something about this. Flip it out. Okay, well, if that triggered the only person that I live with, then there's potential that it's triggered some of you as well. So I'll, I'll, I'll rein it in a bit. This thing is obviously not the best handheld console that exists. There are much better handheld consoles that play much more powerful games. But the, the beauty about this thing was A, how fucking compact it was. B, it had a backlit screen, which was pretty revolutionary at the time. And C, the hardware limitations on this thing are insane. Like, in order to make amazing games on this thing, developers really, really had to think outside the box. And they did. And there's some fucking amazing games on the Game Boy Advance. And it just puts the games on this thing into this category of, like, especially unique games. So... You know, look, it's my favourite, okay? Don't at me. Anyway, this thing is an absolute beast. It's 18 years old. The backlight still works perfectly fine on it. The battery just goes on and on and on. It's not like mobile phones these days after a day. <laughs> Put me to sleep. So originally when I was thinking of doing something Game Boy Advance SP related for this video, I was looking for cases on AliExpress because they sell the 
the shelves so I was going to do like a console mod on it so maybe we could do that in another video but whilst looking for that I stumbled across Game Boy Advance games bootleg games cheap as fuck now in no way do I condone pirating video games said the man with a package full of them in front of it but the thing is this thing is an 18 year old console they don't produce these games anymore and it's incredibly hard to get hold of some of them and i've paid my dues to the gaming industry the gaming industry has had thousands and thousands out of my pocket and in years to come they will have thousands and thousands more so give me a fucking break. Now a lot of people who want to get their fill of retro gaming turn to emulation and it makes sense but for retro handhelds there's nothing quite like sitting with the handheld console in your hand and playing them on the console. On the bus on the way to work you know in bed an hour before you go to sleep on the couch uh, while your wife uses the big TV to watch endless Animal Crossing Island tours. It takes me back to a simpler time so the idea of being able to get hold of these games that I never had super cheap and be able to play them on their intended platform that just really excites me. So I've got them all here in this package we're gonna open it up see what they look like see if they work we may even open one up and get inside it maybe compare it to um, an actual Game Boy Advance game. Okay, so we did get some Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games. So we got four Game Boy Advance games and we got two Game Boy Color games. So let's start off with these ones. So I got Pokemon Crystal version and Pokemon Gold version. Come in these little cases, let's get inside. Okay, so straight away, the plastic on these feels super cheap. I'm not suggesting that original Game Boy games plastic was like some military grade plastic or anything, but this is like so fucking cheap. I mean, it's almost fucking see-through. <laughs> but other than that, it looks pretty good. And they've obviously printed a little sticker, which has been placed quite nicely. I've got an actual Game Boy game here. This one is like much heavier. The other thing is, when comparing the two, I don't know if you can see that, but in the bottom of this one, it's kind of guarded. It's got a, uh, a piece of plastic that prevents you from looking directly up. But this one, you can see right the way up onto the chipboard. Now another thing about Pokemon Gold is that on the original cartridges, I'm sure that there was like a speckled gold finish. I could be wrong, but I'll, I'll check that and I'll stick a um, screenshot up if I was right. Uh, and obviously this is just straight gold plastic. Not that that matters or anything. I guess what matters is does it play out? You know, we're not buying these for fucking exceptional quality, are you? You're buying these so that you can play the games on its intended console. I'm quite happy with that one, to be fair. Now here we've got Pokemon Crystal. Now with the Crystal case, this is quite obvious that uh, it's a bootleg version. Uh, and that's because this is a Game Boy Color game. Now, if you remember Game Boy Color cartridges, they actually had this style cartridge, which has like the, it, it bulges outwards at the top here. Basically an entirely different cartridge. The Crystal one, they've just made a clear version of the original Game Boy cartridges. But, alas, if those two games work, then fantastic all right let's get into the game boy advanced game so we got final fantasy 6 zelda the minish cap metroid fusion and mother 3 so these actually look really good there's usually a pretty like surefire way to see when these are fake because the screw on the back here it's like a y-shaped Man, I don't, I don't know my technical terms for screwdrivers, but yeah, it's like a, it's like a Y-shaped end, and often when it's a fake, they just put a standard screw in the back. But these actually have the Y-shaped screws, so interesting. These cases versus the Game Boy, um, the original cartridges that we looked at earlier, these ones, these have no discernible difference to a real game. They feel the same quality, they look the same. I think they're the same shade as well. They feel the same weight, the stickers are placed on nicely. I'm impressed, do they all look like that? They look good. So 
The next thing to do is test these out and see if they actually work. This is the important bit. So I'm going to test Mother 3 out first. For those of you that don't know, Mother 3 never got a release outside of Japan. So it was an incredible difficult game to get over here anyway. But then there was a fan made translation. Uh, where all the Japanese text have been translated over to English. The fact that somebody's put it on a cartridge, on a Mother 3 cartridge, and I can potentially put this in the Game Boy um, Advance and play it on the Game Boy Advance, that excites me. So we're going to test that one out first. Watch it fucking blow up my SP. The Mother 3 fan translation. <laughs> Appears to be working fine. Let's try out Minish Cap. I'm kind of like surprised. Should I be surprised? Minish Cap seems to work perfectly fine. Right, let's try Metroid. This is one I'm excited for because it's one that I really paid no attention to. I fucking love Metroid and I don't even think I knew that this game existed, but it was consistently appearing in the lists of best games for Game Boy Advance, so I thought I'd pick it up. I'm a bit carried away there. <laughs> Alright, last GBA game to check is Final Fantasy VII. Six is working. It's working just fine. All right, now for the Game Boy games. I'm gonna try out gold first because out of them all, this feels the cheapest and the one that I'm most skeptical about. But it's working. Now this brings back memories. I had this game on floppy disk back in primary school. It must have been like year five or something when this game came out. One of my classmates, a kid called Russell, he gave me a copy of Pokemon Gold on a floppy disk. Don't know how he got it, don't know where he got it from, but it changed my life. If you're out there, Russell, I thank you. Pokemon Crystal. Now I've never played Pokemon Crystal and people lord on this game. But yeah, I skipped this generation out. So I played the first generation. I played Red, blue and yellow i played gold on the floppy disk and then the next one that i played after was sapphire i never actually played crystal and it's working baby okay so the last thing we're going to do is i'm going to take a quick peek inside the games so like i said you need one of these y screwdriver heads you can get them in these like cheap ass multi-pack things i just picked up this can't remember what for now. I think I needed to get into a GameCube or something. Actually, no, it was to get inside my PS4 so I could fucking clean the fan because that shit is noisy. We're gonna open up Final Fantasy VI and we're also gonna open up Ready to Rumble Boxing 2. That's our chosen legitimate game. So this should now just pop open. Okay, so immediately they look entirely, entirely different. I'm gonna open up a third because they've gone pretty far with this. This here is the legitimate inside of Ready to Rumble Boxing 2. You can see it says Nintendo on it. And these AliExpress ones, they've almost gone all the way with it. Like this has copyright 2002, but this says Nil Helder instead of Nintendo. So there's some obvious, obvious differences there. Now I'm not gonna fucking pretend to know what I'm looking at. So we're just gonna close these right back up. So let's recap then. These games cost like three pound each. I know they're bootlegged, I know they're fake, but they work and you can play it on the console. I'm fucking happy with it. I'm pleased with that. You know, some of these games are pretty hard to get hold of. Obviously, if I see legit versions of the games, I'll probably pick them up for my collections, but just to be able to play these games on the Game Boy Advance, it's just cool and I'm into it and it was cheap. So yeah, if there's certain games that you want to experience on the Game Boy Advance but are struggling to get hold of them, then there is an alternative. It's uh, not exactly legit, probably not exactly legal. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this video. If you want to see more haul videos on the channel, then just let me know in the comments below. As always, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.